Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <sighs> I don't think that these people are coming for this wine rack. So kind of ignore this piece. <sighs> it's like, I feel like we really should concentrate mostly on Facebook Marketplace right now because it's the only thing that seems to be getting anywhere. <laughs> but this is actually why I came out here. The swing that's been sitting for a minute. Somebody's supposed to be here about 3.30. I have no idea what time it is. 1.30ish maybe. Um, for this swing. 50 bucks. Let's see if it happens. These people, I'm pretty sure, already fell off the face of the planet. Yes. I know I just had to wait for the right buyer for that. 50 bucks. The swing is gone. And I already seen. I had 50 bucks hanging out on my welcome mat. And even though I'm super not in the mood, I do have a couple things I have to box up, both of them being cassette tapes. First one is Saturday Night Fever, the original motion picture soundtrack. Sold this on Facebook Marketplace for $10 plus the cost of shipping. And to the same dude on Facebook Marketplace, I sold this pretty in pink soundtrack for $5 plus the cost of shipping. Well, this is a first. So, I had the pink one at the bottom listed on Etsy, and somebody that lives nearby messaged me and asked if they could just, like, porch pick it up. And then I mentioned I had the green one, and then I found the purple one. So, I might make $15. I know she wants the green one. I'm going to let her know I found the purple one, too. And uh, if she wants that one, $15 sale. There's something interesting about spending the last few days listing Waterford and Blanco and what else? It's like all sorts of high-end glass and these really nice items. And I haven't even gotten an offer on that. What I did sell was three Beanie Babies like on a pickup from Etsy. That's why I still pick up Beanie Babies. Sold it on our oddities, that's a Stephen King skeleton crew in paperback. It's a vintage copy for $5 plus the cost of shipping. <laughs> Chugging along here with the $5 sales. I know I said on the video that we were at the bins about how Rich has some of these tapes online. Uh, we've been doing $2 each or three for five. Somebody was interested in these three. We haven't got confirmation that they're picking it up. If they don't, I'm probably going to stick this one online, like up on eBay and Etsy. Uh, but we're going to stick them out on the deck and hope for a porch pickup, and we'll just kind of keep you updated. Just selling things $5 at a time, <laughs> even though I've been spending so much time listing high-end things that are pretty expensive. Oh my gosh, the dogs. The dogs. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're barking at the cat. Um, what was I going to say? I sold this for $6 plus the cost of shipping on Pango Books. $5 at a time. That's how we're going to get this done. The uh, cassette tapes got picked up. Oh my god, we made a sale worth more than $5. I listed this yesterday and it sold pretty quickly on eBay for $20 plus the cost of shipping. This is... Swiftheart bear, but it's not a bear. It's a rabbit. Swiftheart rabbit. It's a Care Bear cousin. Anyway, sold it on eBay for 20 plus shipping. It was a Ben's find, so we don't have too much into it. I really hope this means our our tide is changing. This is a Biggie Smalls t-shirt. This was also a Ben's find. It's a bigger size. If I remember correctly, it's like a three XLT. Yeah, three XLT. Anyway, I'm a little out of breath. I had to go dig through the bus and then the shed to find this. <laughs> I had it listed for twenty. Ended up taking a seventeen dollar offer on Mercari. These are the ugliest freaking dolls. They're from the sixties. Own Ona? Oh oh something Wishnik? I don't know. I think they're like pre troll dolls. These were a garbage pick, um, I believe last summer after the garage sale, somebody had thrown out like a tote of all sorts of Beanie Babies, these dolls, other dolls, I made a good amount of money off that bin. These kind of have sat 
I don't know if people just aren't looking for them or if it's a condition issue. I'm not totally sure, but I had three. I actually found a, a fourth one after I listed, um, so I'm sending the fourth one. I had the three listed for 38 I had kind of went back and forth with somebody on Etsy, decided on $30, and I told them that I was sending a fourth. So 30 for four for something that I got for free, although they have been sitting for a year, maybe longer. It might be two years. Can't quite remember when I when I picked these up. <laughs> but um, $30 on Etsy plus the cost of shipping. Question. Are these things, like, hard to find or really expensive or something? Because I don't understand. Usually when I get them, they're really, they get snatched up really fast. This time they actually have that, which is kind of on par for everything right now. But here's the weird thing. I got somebody who's supposedly coming to pick them up in, uh, at like 6 o'clock this evening. They're driving from like an hour away. I don't understand how that's worth it. I'm asking 20 bucks. That's like quite a drive. I'm just curious. Although it's Facebook Marketplace, it wouldn't shock me if these people just didn't show up. We'll, we'll have to come back to this after six and see. It's dark, it's a little bit later than six o'clock, but as you can see, those TV trays got picked up and I've got money under the mat. A lot of small bills, which is fine. During garage sale season, I love small bills. Sold my first small piece from Great Nana's estate. Um, this is a Murano glass orange. It sold for not a lot of money. <laughs> oh, for Frank's sake. <sighs> These dogs. Really? Yeah, hi. You're disrupting what I'm what I'm trying to do here. Uh hold please. As soon as I hit the button, I was like, I think they're done barking. Rich is trying to get something out of the bus that he's gonna load into the van and they're throwing a fit. I'm going to do this quickly before they start barking again. Sold this on uh, Facebook Marketplace for $15 plus the cost of shipping. So I'm going to get this ready to go. And then Rich just put out a porch pickup. On one of the uh, garbage routes we were doing, we picked up all these hockey pucks. There's quite a few of them. I listed them on Facebook Marketplace for $10. bucks. we will see if they show. I don't know if you guys remember this little yellow lamp. And this just basically proves that I have zero idea what I'm doing with my life. This came from the auction, and I bought that lot of, like, a couple tables, this, a couple vintage trash cans, and a single vintage bar stool. I paid $10 for all of it. I didn't really want this lamp. I didn't really want the bar stool. And those are the first two things out of that lot that sold. Go figure. This, although... I didn't want. Ended up being a fairly decent accidental get. Sold it on Etsy for $45 plus the cost of shipping, so I'm pretty stoked on that. It is that time. I still got another thing to box up. The, oh, I'm stuck on the rose bushes. Um, and I still haven't had a pickup on the hockey pucks. But this is kind of where our head is at. We want to really get going on working on the bus. These are for the sale. I do have a date for the next pop-up sale, which is nice. Um, not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. It's supposed to be like 67, which is perfect. We still have a lot of other things, though, that needs to go in and get listed. Like Barney right there. For now, I don't think we're going to worry about the tables. We're definitely not going to worry about the things that are going in here. But like Rich's bike can go in the basement. That does not have to be in the bus. I don't know why this is even in the bus. This can get moved downstairs. Or are we going to keep this or sell this? I don't know. Don't know? Oh my gosh, we've had stuff move in here. Uh, Some of our end so. That doesn't surprise me necessarily. Something's moving. It's not that bad. No, I guess it would be bad. What are those? Sound skins speaker rings? Are that is that for the speakers that are going in here? I have no idea what that is. You don't know nothing, do you? I you don't, don't know, know nothing. I don't know. Nothing. 
this can be thrown in a sale. So that is like sale stuff. We're really going to make a lot of progress when we do actually have the next sale. Salmon. They say something. Vampire Peak. Ballads SD, South Dakota. Badlands, Badlands South, South, Dakota. South Dakota. Vampire Peak. <laughs> I really got to get moving on all this clothing. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this all. I mean, I've got some stuff listed, but like this is going to take me a freaking forever, and clothing for me are a very slow sell. Maybe I'll take that in. I don't think I have anything on my male mannequin right now. Oh, and I found a Beanie Boo with the tag. Finally heard from Hockey Putt Guy. He's not coming. He has the flu or something. But the guy that's supposed to pick up this firewood thing says he gets off work at 3.30. So that's 10 bucks. Hopefully he shows up. Cool, and I just got word that that fireplace poker wood thing got picked up. And I see money under the mat. Sweet. $10. And that was a garbage pick, so this is all. Although, I don't think we've sold anything from that pickup just yet, so this pays for our gas at least. I have to get my life together. I actually have an eye appointment today to get new glasses. I know, I know, I know. I can never read anything. Look at all this freaking dog fur. I let all the dogs on the bed this morning. I'm regretting it a little bit. I have to, like, take one of those roller things. Ugh, drives me nuts. Anyway. These were a bins pick up. They, I just thought they were neat. Rich found them. They're like aluminum jello molds. There's a ton of them here. I sold them for $10 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook Marketplace. This is something that's been floating around here since we were still at the farmhouse. It's a Victoria's Secret striped duffel bag. I don't remember where it came from, but I know it's been listed for years, like four or five years. Finally, it sold on eBay for 20 bucks plus the cost of shipping. Now, did we make any money off of it? Probably not. Oh my gosh, these dogs. <laughs> but we're gonna get this ready to go out. Oh, I guess she was like chewing on his lip and that's why he was like, Bear! Yeah, you two, you're brutal. It's really nice when your eye exam place is right there. And Salvation Army is right there. $14.99. The iridescence is really good on that, though. I don't think these go for very much. I don't feel any damage. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try to look it up. Yeah, there's a lot listed for about $20 or $25. Those are adorable. I need to get a couple of those out of the booth and list them. Not exactly like that, but you know, the cross stitch type ordeals. I do always check out the Germany. $24.99 for a set of four. Woo! Oh, buddy. So, this is the aesthetic that we are going for in the bus. I am stuck on something. It's not very sturdy though. $35. But I like the brick. The brick is what we're going for in the bus with like a shabby chic cottage feel. Wish the rest of these were here. Man. They have quite the mug selection here, but it's mostly because they ask a lot for their mugs. So, it would have to be something pretty eye-catching for me to buy a mug from here. I want, like, a cool stoneware mug. It's kind of where I'm going right now. That one's cool. That's Otagari. That's probably why I like it. Very pretty. Otagar stuff used to sell really well for me and it just hasn't been lately. Yeah, I don't know. 
What is that? Montana, maybe? Hay is a little rubbed off. This is the weird stuff that I like. Oh, I see. I thought it was just a weird door. <laughs> like, I like it. Oh, it's a pretty piece of pottery. Is that a glasses case? I, I think I need to get my glasses first. It's important to be able to see while driving the bus. It's been like 10 years since I've had new glasses. See, like I like this. <laughs> it's just a weird metal wall hanging lock. Well, I don't think we're finding anything today. We're out. Just got a message that the hockey puck guy is feeling better. He's got to take his son to work. So he's supposedly going to swing by for the hockey pucks. We'll see what happens. Rich just informed me that I had money outside. The so freaking hockey pucks finally got picked up. Those were a garbage pick. I'm down. I'm into it. I like it. Ten bucks. I'm having a moment. I just don't want to. I did set up a porch pickup for the swing. Eight bucks. That was the garbage pick. So we don't have anything into that. And then this. Rich cleaned up really nice. Loud car. <laughs> so I'm going to take photos of this. Loud van. And get those listed. Um, we're like this close to being able to pay rent. Wow. This mirror was originally $200 from JCPenney. So I think I'm going to up the price just a little bit. I was originally going to, I was thinking like 30 bucks. I still think that's kind of fair, but considering I can prove that it was 200, I think I'm just going to up it a little bit to 40 porch pickup only. If it doesn't sell, I can always drop the price. I still don't feel like doing it, but I'm going to slowly get things boxed up. I have a pair of lamps that sold too. The Girl Behind the Red Rope hardcover sold on Facebook Marketplace for a whopping $3 plus the cost of shipping. This is so frustrating. <laughs> this is the pair of lamps that we sold. Already sold on Etsy. Already been paid for $30. I tested both of them, which means that was not missing when I put them away. This little clicker was on there. I have a photo of both of them turned on so you can, you know, show that they both work. So where in the heck did the little thingy go? It's not in the bin where they were stored. We just went through it, like took everything out. So I'm very confused. Crisis averted. Okay. <laughs> These sold on Etsy for $30 plus the cost of shipping. They were a, a freebie um, from our friend Sarah. They were they did an estate sale at her grandparents' house. And the stuff that was left over, she gave us first dibs to come and grab whatever we wanted before they donated it. So, these were a freebie. Sold them for 30 plus shipping on Etsy. Hey, did I also tell you? Rich gave me permission to keep Woody if I can afford his adoption fee. Which, obviously, you guys know I can't right now. But if nobody else adopts him... <laughs> He can stay. Rich just brought in the envelope, which means I'm assuming the red little tykes swing got picked up. $8. I'm okay with it. On that note, guys, I'm going to sign you off. I'll see you on the next. Bye.